Hey guys, this is a patron snippet, an example of what you get if you head on over to HeroParanormal.com and subscribe to be a patron. There's a ton of content over there. If you haven't gone and checked it out, please do. Also, if you want to support the podcast, head over to HappinessMedical.com. There's a product over there my wife invented. She's obviously the brains in the operation. It's called Spice Natural Bronze, the first all-organic bronzer with technologically infused coconut oils, aloe vera, and cocoa butter to keep your skin hydrated and moisturized. Enjoy. Blast off on another epic episode of the Hyper Anomalous Esoteric Research Organization podcast. My name is Ryan, the anomalous ambassador of the airwaves, broadcasting from just south of the old Sherman Ranch in the Uinta Basin of Utah at spacewolfresearch.com. And man, do we have an interesting envelope of activity to cover today. There's been a lot going on in the political agenda, and I think it's important to read between the lines If the numerology of the elite has taught us anything, it is to understand the codex, to see what it is that's coming down the pipe so we can better prepare. And that's exactly what I've been trying to do. We have some very interesting situations with, of course, the movie, which I kind of went into deep uh, analysis of, Leave the World Behind. If you haven't seen or heard that podcast, please check it out. A lot of uh, symbolism and significance from a predictive programming standpoint, in my opinion. So that movie came out. We have another movie coming out called Civil War. Now, Civil War is coming out, and the numerology between the release dates of the two is intriguing. Of course, the number 322 comes up, which we know of Genesis 322. We know of the Order of Skull and Bones, Order 322. And what is this referencing? Well, the quote from the Bible of Genesis 322 says, Behold, the man has become like one of us in knowing good and evil. Now, lest he reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So, of course, the first question is, who is the Almighty Creator talking to? He's obviously not alone. Is it the Elohim, the hierarchy of angels, his assistants? There's more than just him. Secondly, there seems to be some concern that, quote-unquote, the man has become like one of us in knowing good and evil. Now, lest he reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life, and eat and live forever. This also seems to be noteworthy, or else it wouldn't be noted, wouldn't be said. So there's some concern about man learning how to take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. As many researchers know, the Order 322 is a death cult, skull and bones, and they mock death. In fact, they revere it with a form of uh, flattery and comedy. They often explain that the skulls of two individuals, once dead, are the same, regardless of whether they are paupers or billionaires. And this is true. So it's only what we do while we are alive that matters. So again, mocking death, Making fun of it is kind of the only way to uh, understand the human condition, right? I mean, if not, it's one of the most depressing scenarios ever. We come into this world super cute and cuddly and just precious as babies. And we leave horrifically as, you know, sunken in lifeless shells who have extended their time period, usually past that of any equivocable help to those around us and It's sad. It's sad. The human experience is a sad, sad one. So why not mock death? Why not? So here we have quite a quandary, a Bavarian death cult and numerology used by the elite to basically leave breadcrumbs that 
They obviously do as a head nod to one another, but researchers and investigators have come privy to the codex. We understand how to analyze, synthesize, incorporate these breadcrumbs into our own realization of what may be coming and try to understand what the head nods are all about. Well, to me, it seems very apparent. Now, the release dates between the movie on Netflix, which is executively produced by the Obamas, and it was uh, very much, not to be a spoiler, but it's about a cyber attack. That was released on Netflix. You should definitely check it out. The upcoming release of Civil War by A24 Productions is coming up, and the time frame between the two is notable. The Civil War movie will be released 32 weeks and two days after Leave the World Behind. That's 3-2-2. And I'm sure those are some of out there are saying, you know, what's, come on, it's just a coincidence. However, is it? We seem to be finding a lot of coincidences lately. And the more coincidences there are, the more exclusive and forbidden the knowledge. So, in my opinion, when you access this information and you see the patterns, you recognize the magic. And let's not forget that the CIA has declassified research and investigation into magic, perfectly explaining it as patterns, patterning, the ability to see patterns, make patterns. And patterning is quite literally a form of magic. Trust me when I say the information I get from all of my friends in the intelligence community is not what you would think. They are into the same things I am, but in a very professional way. So let's just, uh, let me read this to you. Patterning. This technique involves use of the consciousness to achieve desired objectives in the physical, emotional, or intellectual sphere. It involves concentration on the desired objective while in a focused 12 state. Extension of an individual's perception of that objective into the whole expanded consciousness and its projection into the universe with the intention that the desired object is already a matter of established achievement which is destined to be realized within the time frame specified. This particular methodology is based on the belief that the thought patterns generated by our consciousness in a state of expanded awareness create holograms which represent the situation we desire to bring about and, in so doing, establish the basis for actual realization of the goal. Once the thought-generated hologram of the sought-after objective is established in the universe, it becomes an aspect of reality, which interacts with the universal hologram to bring about the desired objective, which might not, in other circumstances, ever occur. In other words, this technique of patterning recognizes the fact that since consciousness is the source of all reality, our thoughts have the power to influence the development of reality in time-space and applies to us if those thoughts can be projected with adequate intensity. However, the more complicated the objective sought and the more radically it departs from our current reality, the more time the universal hologram will need to be reoriented to reality spheres, to accommodate our desires. Monroe trainers caution against attempting to force the pace of this process because the individual could succeed in dislocating his existing reality with drastic consequences. And you heard the Monroe trainers noted there. The Monroe Institute is one of these places where many in the intelligence community are not only you know, delving deeply into their applications, going to trainings, and enveloped by the training that they provide because it's very noteworthy. It is something that they can use in a very real-world scenario, yet Monroe's not the only one. There's many other organizations which are not as well 
known and many other applications. So why are intelligence professionals so interested in this fringe science, so to speak? Well, because it affects our reality. It becomes reality. And this is the most interesting part about those who appear to be nuts and bolts are really into the woo. And, you know, of course, to ignore this would be unwise, in my opinion. So not only do I not ignore it, I also don't mind sharing it with others. Revelation of the method, right? If they choose not to believe, that's on them. But if you offer it up as what you believe is true, then you escape that karmic downward energy of having forbidden knowledge that you are not sharing. So let's share away. Here we go. We have the predictive programming taking place in Leave the World Behind with the cyber attacks. And now we have A24 Productions coming out 322 later with the Civil War movie, which is based around states seceding from the Union. Now, what's interesting is we're starting to already see something similar. We've seen states that are claiming they will not put Donald Trump on the ballot, in a way, seceding from the federal norm. And Colorado has done it, and there are 14 other states that seem to say they are going to follow suit. That makes a total of 15. We only need four more. We've got 19, much like the trailer to Civil War alleges that 19 states which secede from the Union. Now, interestingly, there is, of course, the C-19 uh, symphony of comparison there. But yeah, according to the trailer to Civil War, which is coming out 322 later than Leave the World Behind, and the trailer, I should note, is 223 long, 2 minutes and 23 seconds. So there we have 322 inverted again. Another synchronicity, another pattern, another coincidence, if you believe in that sort of thing. So we have another thing that's interesting, and that is the fact that 223 is also the caliber of what our boys in the military use as the caliber of their weaponry, 322 backwards, right? So interesting. We have these states which will purportedly or allegedly secede from the Union in this fictional representation of a civil war which will come about in 2024. And in reality, still in 2023, we have the fingerprints of possible scenarios that could be compared to this already taking place. And if you don't think there's a rift politically in our country, let me just point out that there is. There are people who are very vocal. And hey guys, if you want to hear full episodes, there's a lot more content over at HeroParanormal.com. If you haven't gone over there, you're missing out. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you get all the content behind the paywall. There's a ton of it. And you can also support the podcast over at Happiness Medical. Dot com. Head on over there. If you see what you like, buy a tube. We have the first all-natural organic bronzer called Spice Natural Bronze that has technologically infused coconut oil, aloe vera oil, cocoa butter, and other all-organic ingredients to hydrate and moisturize your skin through the winter months keep it soft and smooth, and not lose that color that you worked so hard for over the summer months. Great product. My wife invented it. She's obviously the brains in the operation. But check it out, happinessmedical.com. That also supports the podcast. Thanks for listening to this patron snippet. Until next time, keep your eyes to the skies, feet on the ground, but don't forget to take a look around. <laughs>
preacher starts talking sensibly, but the congregation gets more and more enthusiastic. Amen. Yes, Lord. And they've worked out the preacher so that by the time he's through, have turned into not only poetry,